Choosing your date night look can be a daunting task. You want to look flawless in order to make a good impression, but your outfit can communicate a lot of different things, good and bad. Before you post that pre-game glow up, experts weigh in on what you shouldn't rock for date night. My body is my canvas and my clothes is my paint. Thigh-high boots are a total no-no when you're choosing an outfit for a date. Love and dating coach Josie May says, Thigh-high boots may look good when you go out dancing with your girlfriends, but unfortunately on a date, they give off a hooker vibe. Since you're probably not going for Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman, you don't want to send the message that you're too available or, even worse, easy. Big mistake. Big. Huge. Play up your allure and mystique with something like a booty rather than strutting around in attention-seeking thigh highs. Nice shoes, lady. When it comes to a flattering look, fit is everything. Psychologist, relationship and dating expert and award-winning author Antonia Hall warns against clothes that don't quite fit, especially things that are too small. She says, if your clothes are too tight, it tells the person that you have low self-esteem and are trying to gain attention in the wrong ways. God, Are you okay? No, I can't breathe. It's so tight. You'll likely also be fidgeting and fussing with your clothes, which is annoying for you and everyone around you. Rory Sassoon, image consultant, relationship expert and CEO and co-founder of elite matchmaking service Platinum Poire, also adds, Avoid something that you can't get into and out of on your own. What if you need to go to the bathroom and you can't undo the zipper? What are you going to do? Ask your date to unzip you? If you go the opposite route and wear clothes that are oversized and falling off your body, you could appear sloppy and disinterested in either yourself, your date, or both. Interesting jeans, Lena. Oh, yeah. It's a long story. Antonia Hall advises, If your clothes are baggy and loose, you'll look like you didn't put in an effort and just don't really care. Wear something that fits and shows off your figure, and you'll make the best impression. Skip the icons and brand names on a date so you don't look like a walking advertisement. Author, speaker and healer Jaya Jaya Myra says, Never wear clothing that contains slogans or noticeable brand icons. Clothing is meant to be more subtle than that and properly picked clothing can elevate your ability to communicate with your date. Check out these straps. It's got the name on it. Plus, you don't want your cute, cropped champion sweatshirt sending secret messages about you to your date. Myra added, You want your date to get to know you without having preconceived notions of who you are before you ever open your mouth. And that won't happen if your clothes broadcast an idea more loudly than your conversation does. Along with passing on the logos, you definitely don't want to show up wearing messages on your shirt either. Celebrity matchmaker Bonnie Winston says no one wants to be the butt of a bad joke, revealing, I had a client who was with a man who bought a shirt on the Venice Beach boardwalk. The shirt said, I'm with Stupid. He wanted her to wear it and she said no. They broke up over it. Not everyone has the same sense of humor. And I'm not saying that to be mean, I'm saying that to be helpful. Dawn Karen, who studies the hidden synergy between fashion and psychology, adds, One should not wear slogan tees to avoid embodying the slogan for the duration of the date. Vanity Capital's Caitlin Kapoor admits she's not exactly one to restrict anyone's appearance, saying, I'm not a fan of telling people what they can or cannot wear because style is such a fun way for an individual to express themselves. But she does say there's one look that's not revealing anything good about you. Stains on your clothes. She warns, One thing you should always avoid is clothing that is dirty and or wrinkled. Dirty clothes can make you appear messy in life and love and everything else. Keep your look clean, pressed and fresh as a daisy. And this fresh scent will last? It's like you shoved a rainbow up your nose. Professional matchmaker Susan Trombetti draws the line at athleisure for date wear. She says, Don't ever show up to a date wearing a sports bra. Save it for the gym. I don't care if you are meeting for happy hour drinks at the bar next to the gym and you have a great bod. It's not appropriate. It can say, I don't care, and it's all too revealing at the same time. You don't have to bear it all to feel more confident. If right now you're thinking, who the heck wears a sports bra on a date? Trombetti claims that it's more common than you think. If you absolutely have to work a peekaboo bra into the mix, try a sporty bralette layered under a blazer for an on-trend approach. 
Black is timeless, chic, and slimming. And that's probably why it's the preferred monochromatic fashion color of many women. But Bonnie Winston wants you to lighten up when it comes to your date night look. She says, Please don't dress as if you're attending a funeral date after date after date. The message is very depressing. At least try to lighten things up with a few colorful accessories. I wear black all the time because it's just the easiest, most effortless uniform for me. If you're someone who personally abides by an all-black everything wardrobe, try mixing in a pop of grey. That way you can rock shades of black without getting way too dark. I'm not trying to show y'all all my cookies, but a mini skirt is pretty short, guys. Like. You can go ahead and put that tight skirt back in your closet, according to wardrobe consultant Diane Pollock. She warns against bodycon minis, since they can ride up and cause you to be fidgeting with them instead of being present in the moment. She says, Never wear something that is uncomfortable and doesn't fit. Basically, anything that you are preoccupied with is going to detract from you being present and having fun on the date. Distracting prints are also a no-go because they draw attention to themselves. Emmy Award-winning stylist David Zyler, author of Color Your Style and How to Win at Shopping, says, When dressing for a date, avoid all prints, logos, and anything that distracts from you. Fashion is like your superpower. You shouldn't have to hide it. Zyla says it might help to focus on your top half when choosing what to wear on a date. He explained, Since most dates are over dinner or drinks, always dress as you would for a portrait, aka from the waist up. The most flattering item to wear on a date is a top or dress in your favorite lipstick color, guaranteed to bring out the prettiest, most romantic side of you. Whatever you do, definitely don't dress for a date like someone even your friends wouldn't recognize. Your closet should be a shrine to your future. Rose Jubb, a wardrobe stylist who specializes in helping women claim more confidence and reach their goals, says, The one thing a woman should never wear on a date is anything that makes her feel like someone she is not. Basically, don't fish with the wrong bait. Be yourself, but the slightly polished version, and you'll reel in the keepers who love you for you. Pause the perfume, people. April Davis, dating expert and CEO of Luma Luxury Matchmaking, says to nix fragrance for date night. It might seem counterintuitive since aromas can be alluring and memorable, but it turns out they can also overwhelm the olfactory sense. Red Flag Perfume by Chanel. The only perfume that warms men. I'm crazy. Davis says, Sure, your favorite scent makes you feel like a bombshell, but that doesn't mean he will think the same. We're all sensitive to smell, and if you chose the wrong scent, you might be risking it all. Save the perfume for when you have your new love interest on lockdown. Save the slouchy looks for your me time. It turns out you can appear a little frumpy if you wear a loose knit on a date. April Davis says, A huge attire mistake for a first date is sweaters. They're cute and cozy, but they're more of a third or fourth date kind of thing. It's itchy. It's choking me. Unless you regularly go for that snatched pin-up look, sweaters aren't usually cut to flatter your assets. Davis added, Sweaters aren't usually form-fitting and can be a little frumpy. The first few dates are your time to spark interest. Yes, mystery is nice, but you don't want to crush their imagination with an outfit their mum might have worn. All you're gonna do is embarrass yourself. Marilyn Monroe is quoted as once saying, Give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world. And for that, you can wear flats or heels. Just make sure you can walk in whatever you choose on a date. She was just like, heels? Mwah. Yes. Love. Personal shopper and expert stylist Jocelyn Kay weighed in, saying, Nothing kills the mood more quickly than feeling physically uncomfortable. Dates often take serendipitous turns and we find ourselves walking across the Brooklyn Bridge or on a romantic stroll through a park. A little adventure is a true aphrodisiac. Feeling comfortable and confident is key. Girl, if you are a total Carrie Bradshaw and are most comfortable in towering heels, then rock your look. Manolo, Blahnik, Mary Janes, I thought these were an urban shoe myth. Just be sure about what your date has planned, since you might not want to wear six-inch pumps if you're going to be doing a lot of walking. If the date is a surprise, manage your heel height. Fashion blogger Billie Jean Bateson says, The most important thing you should never wear on a date is extremely high heels, above three inches, if you don't know where you will go. You definitely don't want to bail on a romantic stroll together for the sake of your toes. Keep your heel height in check so you can go with the flow. 
No offence to statement stacked bangles, but noisy accessories might not be the best choice for a date. Dating and relationship coach Christine Baumgartner explained why, saying, I encourage women to occasionally touch their hair and the arm of their date, since this breaks the personal space barrier between them and also lets the woman see how she feels when she touches him, and to sometimes use their hands while they talk because it can show how passionate they are about the subject. And wearing jewellery that makes sounds would be very distracting. Scaled back accessories are preferred to prevent your jewellery from stealing your spotlight. Everything just looks better in eyewear. The eyes are the windows to the soul, so don't block yourself from connecting with someone on a deeper level by wearing sunglasses the whole time. Relationship coach Dr. Siva says, Everyone looks better in a pair of designer sunglasses, but it stops the one thing you want from a first date, that soul-level connection. Men tell me that sunglasses make women look unapproachable and also distant. Many of them do not even click on women wearing sunglasses in their dating profiles. I would never smile with these sunglasses. Never. It's also been scientifically proven that your eyes communicate a lot without you ever saying a word. Siva explained, The whites of your eyes are designed to enhance communication with your partner by showing which way you are looking. Studies show we naturally learn this as babies, even before we can speak. So ditch the Ray-Bans if you want to connect for real. Karina Peterson, resident Nickelady and stylist for upscale lingerie brand Enclosed, suggests keeping undies private but pretty for your date. She says, Heaven forbid you show up to a first date in ugly undergarments. On that first date, you want to feel desirable, attractive and sensual. The way you feel on the inside projects onto your interaction with your date and a little extra boost of confidence can go a long way. Surely these would be most attractive at crucial moment. However, chances of reaching crucial moment greatly increase by wearing these. Take a minute to choose your cutest underpinnings, even if it's only you who ever sees them. Peterson explains, Wearing fantastic lingerie under your clothes on a date doesn't have to be overtly intimate. It can and might remain your little secret. The bottom line is, if you feel empowered and beautiful, your partner will notice too. The are leggings pants argument has raged on for years, with fashion types firmly divided on the issue. That said, leggings and yoga pants remain wildly popular. They're perfect for working out, running errands, grabbing coffee with your friends, and for dressing up. But they are unapologetically crossed off the date list. Let's get real. Leggings can be pants, pajamas, and a napkin. Wardrobe stylist Rose Job says, Leave the yoga pants at home. Every item of clothing serves a purpose, but I'd never tell you to wear a cocktail dress to Pilates. At the end of the day, you are free to wear whatever makes you feel your best for your date. Dating coach and matchmaker Laura Bellotta noted, Deciding what to wear on a date is stressful. You want to look attractive yet effortless, which is tricky. Ultimately, the number one thing that you shouldn't wear on a date is something you aren't comfortable wearing. And that extends to your emotional comfort level as well. She adds, If you're constantly going to be pulling down your dress, checking to see if your bra is showing, or not paying attention because your feet hurt too much, then you aren't going to have a good time, and your date probably won't either. If you're comfortable in the outfit you've chosen, you can relax and focus on your date. I am bold! I am brilliant! I am beautiful! Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.